In this video, I'm going to show you the differences between the four options that you have when you open up different files from within Microsoft Teams. You might be opening a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet or a PowerPoint, and you have four different ways that you can do this. There are pros and cons to each of the different options that we're going to cover in this video. The first option is to open that file right within the Teams app. Your second option is to open it in the browser. Third is to open it in the desktop app. And then also, finally, you can download that file. We're gonna cover the key differences in those different options in this video. Let's get started. Navigate to the file we want to open. We can either right click, hover over open in, and select one of our options from there, or we can come over to the three dot menu on the right hand side. Hover over open in, and our options pop up here as well. Let's select open our file in Microsoft Teams. The advantage of opening your file in Teams is that you are within Microsoft Teams. So if you get any communications like chats that you wanna keep an eye on, or if you wanna see the latest updates that any other users may be making to this file, you'll be able to do that by opening it in the Teams window here. The disadvantages are that you don't have the full functionality of the desktop app, in this case, Microsoft Word. So if I were to scroll down, I can see that I have a text box here. I can select it, but if I try to edit it, I'm unable to. I can make some minor edits here and others would be able to see my changes. But in this document, we have some complex formatting, including a table of contents. And notice that we can't see the lines that show up on the table of contents that we would normally like to see if we open this in Microsoft Word. From here, if we wanted to, we could open in the desktop app. So we do have a shortcut from within Teams to open the desktop app version. This will open the full version of the document that we could edit in Microsoft Word. But before we do that, let's go ahead and close out. Now let's open the document in the browser. I'm gonna click on the three dots, hover on open in, and select the browser. The advantage of opening the file in a browser is that it does open up in a separate browser tab. So if you wanna stay in the chat area of Microsoft Teams, you can do so. You can also make simple edits in the browser version, but you still don't have the full functionality as you would if you opened in the desktop app. Again, you can see I'm not able to actually type into this text box to edit it yet. From the browser version, if I wanted to go to the desktop app, I can come up here to editing, drop down and select open in desktop app. Let's go back into Teams and do that. I'm gonna come back to my three dot menu. I'm gonna select open in and then the desktop app. Now I have a license to Microsoft 365 and I have the Word app installed on my machine. So I was able to open this up directly in the Word desktop app. Now I have the full functionality of Microsoft Word. So if I scroll down, I can finally select this text box and actually make an edit to it. Notice when you're in the desktop app version, when you open it within Microsoft Teams, you'll see that the autosave is on. This is a feature that allows you to save any changes that you make in the document, they'll be automatically saved onto the shared file that's out on Teams. So other users who may access the file will be able to see the changes and edits that you make. Let's go back into Teams. And let's take a look at the final option, which is to actually download a copy of the file. When we download a copy, we're able to save it anywhere on our machine. Now I'm gonna navigate and open up the file that I just downloaded. Now we have the downloaded version of that file from our machine. We can click on Enable Editing. Now I can make changes to this downloaded file that's saved on my machine, but notice that the autosave is off. So any changes I do make are not gonna be automatically saved to the shared file that's out on Teams. This might be okay if I need to email this document off to someone else, but if I'm gonna to need to re-upload the document after I make changes, I risk losing any other changes that others may have made on the shared Teams file while I was working on this downloaded version. All right, let's go back into Teams. And real quickly, I wanna show you, when you click on the three dot menu, hover over open in, we can actually change the default. We have the option of changing to the browser. This is a personal preference. If you choose to select browser as your default, then all that means is when you click on the items to open them from within Teams, 
Instead of opening up in Teams, they'll open up in that separate browser tab. So to recap, here's my list of pros and cons of the different ways to open and edit files from within Microsoft Teams. These are based on my personal preferences on how I like to work, and it often depends on what I need to do with the files that dictates how I usually access and work with them on Teams. I put a star next to the desktop app as my favorite option because I like having the full functionality at my fingertips. Leave me a comment below and let me know your favorite way to open and edit files from within Microsoft Teams, or if you have any other tips to share. I want to take a quick moment to thank all of my viewers and subscribers for watching my channel and sharing my videos. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.